You've explored the idea that time is a substance that can be folded into closed time-like curves, CTCs. How could this model explain phenomena like deja vu, and what are the potential real-world applications of manipulating time using CTCs? Deja vu is a symptom of false memory syndrome, whereby one wrongly assumes that a situation or detail thereof has occurred to them before, when in reality it has not. The most common cause for this is from remote viewing in dreams. If one expects a certain situation to occur in their future, even unconsciously, their subconscious mind can project itself into that situation and make detailed observations about this, albeit purely hypothetical, environment. Then, later, when the person is conscious, they find themselves in that or a similar situation and recall from their dream the experience or some detail thereof. Prescience in dreams is a phenomenon recorded from the beginning of human history and does not require the many worlds hypothesis or time travel to account for it. The difference between such deja vu in perception and actual time travel in reality is the difference between the future visited in the dream being a real location or only a dream projection. In a CTC, the future and past are real places that one can travel to along the same continuous path. However, in a dream, and so in most deja vu as well, these events are only imaginary phantasms that, once, ag once awake again, uh, cannot be reached through any means of conventional physical travel. It should be noted that time, as we measure it on the sphere of planet Earth, is also a form of distortion to strictly linear time, similar to a closed time-like curve. Our measure of 24 hours per day corresponds to a measure of 24 time zones, or longitudinal areas on the surface of our globe. These time zones are therefore wider and thus should last longer, at the equator than near the poles, even though the different latitudes all take the same duration to elapse. Like in a CTC on Earth, the past and future may be real places that coexist simultaneously. For example, the time in Australia may be in the future, from someone's point of view in America, which may be in the relative past from the point of view of someone in Australia. And yet these places exist at the exact same moment, only in different locations on Earth's surface. Although novel, this comparison should not be underestimated, even though the restarting of each day at the international dateline may be purely conventional, it still mimics the specific form of causality loop called a time loop that restarts from a fixed point after a certain duration or event 